Well, you, sh you should know the drill by now. Just double check this. I, I checked it before and it's everything's okay. You don't have to be an electrician. If you got any little bit of sense, all I'm using is my standard screwdriver and I'll probably use a Phillips screwdriver and that's probably it for this project. Gently pull that off. If your wall has been painted a long time ago and if they didn't take the cover plates off and they painted around it, you may have to slightly score it to get it off. Last thing you want to do is jerk it off and rip the paint off, okay? That's the worst thing you could do. Well, now I'm just going to take these screws out. And they, use, they use sheet rock screws well, for that one anyways. Lots of times I've seen that. See up here was just the regular standard screw that comes with the with the light switch. Now see I shouldn't have to I shouldn't have to move anything here because I've got my wires right here. Okay. okay. And, and then I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to finagle the wire nuts back in there further because the, the dimmer switch, you see how thick that is? Look, it's not as thick as a regular light switch. So I've got to have plenty of room in there. And this box is pretty well packed. I'm going to have to hold my mouth just right on this one. Okay, so I could just I could just cut these wires off with my with my wire cutters if I wanted to. Snip snip snip. But I'm going to go ahead and undo it. And I can undo it later or do it now. So I'm just showing you See this one they have it wrapped around the screw so I'm, I've got to just kind of get it opened for it to come off. And that was just a small little standard screwdriver. This one, it's just to, it's just to make the, the loop bigger so I can then just put, pull it off. See how it's got that loop on there. I think you can see that. Yeah, you can you can see it. You know this one here. You just get that ground wire out of the way for for now. Just take this and, and twist it up. If you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, twist it that way. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. This time they have them looped around the screws. Remember on another light switch that I took out there were holes in the back and this one in fact has holes in the back and they chose not to use those. Different electricians like to do it different ways. I, I used to always uh, use the back holes but lately I've used these screws on the side just Just because it's it uh, it keeps them on there a lot better because these can get loose so they can pull out once they get loose you got the light switch on you could cause it to short back and forth a little bit and eventually it might stop working eventually it could throw a spark in there cause a fire okay so at that point I can't just I can't just get it off that way. I have to turn this sideways. I can bend that up to kind of let it get off of there. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, 
might have to uh, work on this a little bit here. I could undo this screw all the way or just bend that a little bit more like that. Okay. And now I can save this. This is a perfectly good switch. I've got the screws there. there. There's the two holes in the back that I was telling you about. Okay, back there. That you can put the wires in. And if the wires were in there, you see there's a little slot right there. You would take a little, small little screwdriver like that, push it in there. There's a spring in there. Or not a, you know, there's a wire piece in there you, that you push on and it releases the pressure off of the wire if the wires were in these holes if you didn't want to cut them off. You could cut them off and then take a pair of pliers and then pull on it and pull them out. That You can do that too but if you want if you don't want to do that you just push on that and then pull the wire out at the same time. I've showed you on other videos it works it works pretty good. Now if I don't have any strippers, if I, if I don't have any strippers, I could just take this wire with my pliers and just fold it out and get it straight. Okay. And then I can I can use that. And I can do that. The copper as long as you don't bend, you can bend the copper back and forth a little bit without breaking. But if I if I took this here and bent back and forth, back and forth, maybe eight or nine times, I could snap that off. Okay. And if you didn't want to do it that way, you could take a, you could take a pair of electrical cutters like this, and you can cut that off. You know. And then you could re-strip it with some wire strippers. I carry that this stuff in my nail bag. I don't use it only for electrical. See, use something like that, and then I could strip the wire. I don't need to use those this time. You remember on the last one, I made this about a half an inch or so, or. You know, just a little bit shorter than this. They made these a little bit longer because once you once you put the loop on it and put it on the side screw, you have to strip these that much further if you if you want to use the side screws. If you just want to use the back screws, you don't have to strip it as far. But you have to strip it enough to get it pushed in there, but you don't want to strip way back. Okay? This would be about the right length if I were to have used those back screws, back holes, you know, a different, a different time. Okay, so here's my ground, here's my ground wire. Let's just, let's just cut this one off this time, okay? I'm just going to cut it off about the same length as everything else this time because when I, when I reattach this, I've got three wire nuts. So this ground doesn't need to be any longer than these black ones. Okay, and you want them, they're stuck out about five, five inches or so, five, five or six inches. They tell you to do it six inches. These are five. Okay, I got the power back on. Moment of truth. It's working. Okay, these lights are on. Now, I'm going to push the dimmer down. As I push it down, these should dim. There. See that? Trust me, if you got any can lights like this in your ceiling, you put a dimmer on that and at night, oh, it looks really nice. It gives you a nice ambiance. Right now, you can't really tell too much. It's not like perfectly dark outside right now. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't touch this one before, but I'm just going to check it. That one's still working. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly right now what that switch is for. 
And I'm thinking that switch is probably for uh, an electrical outlet somewhere in this room. Somewhere. It could even be that plug over there where this controls half of a switch, half of the plug and and uh, not the other half, you know. You turn, turn the switch on and then half the plug is controlled. I don't think it's for the speaker. See, there's speakers up in here. We don't have those hooked up right now, but here's the, here's the deal for the speakers, you know. And I think, I think there's probably an off on that. That's probably off, so I don't think you need a switch to power this. So I think this is for something else, Probably maybe a, a lamp, you know, on the desk or something. You plug it into the right one and then you can hit your switch. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to check some other time, okay? But as for everything else, this room is good now. The switches look the same. It looks like I didn't install a dimmer switch in here at all, or if I did, it matched the existing. And out here in this room here, Here's my new, here's my new dimmer switch here, see? See how this one does not match the other one, the paddle's bigger. And let's just try that now. And it works there. And this dims down. That's nice. Okay. Okay, well there you go. I installed one dimmer switch, but I made everything look just right, didn't I? I could have put this one dimmer switch in the office, right? Had I done that, they wouldn't have matched and then my old dimmer switch would have been here. That would have been fine too. But because I know how to do certain things, I like to match things up the best I can whenever I do something. You do the same. That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.